I never really knew Danny Jackson, but some of my family did, and said he was a great guy, such as his daughter Jody Jackson. I was not able to interview him, so I interviewed Jody, and she told me some things about him. Sergeant Danny Jackson enlisted in the Army at the age of 17. After he enlisted, he went to Fort Sill to start his basic training. When he was done, he was sent to Vietnam. While he was in Vietnam, he was sent to the hospital because he was injured by a bomb that went off beside him. He healed from his injury and was sent back into combat. He was sent home later in May of 1969 because he developed symptoms of malaria. This was caused from a herbicide called Agent Orange. Agent Orange was used in Vietnam to kill off plants so inmates could not hide in them. Many soldiers who fought in Vietnam were affected by this herbicide, like Danny was. He kept having symptoms such as discoloring of skin, rashes, enlarged spleen, and liver. The symptoms continued, so he went to the hospital a few years later. He found out he had leukemia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and pulmonary fibrosis. All of these were caused from him breathing in the Agent Orange. Danny Jackson died on October 7, 1991, at the age of 31. Although his death was hard for his family, they soon moved on, but there will never be a time when he is forgotten.